Sophie. Um, I've read over your lesson plan and um, just a few little changes. Um, I don't think it's going to let me edit here, but please take out the word native. It's not an appropriate term to describe um, children whose language, first language is English. You can just say um, that um, the children are um, have English as their first language. So just take that out. It's not considered professional language, and I wouldn't want you to use it in a formal lesson plan that you would submit to a principal or somebody else and have them say something to you. Um, that's not anything I would expect you to know. It's just from my own background and um, certification in teaching children who are who are multilinguals and I work with a lot of multilingual students at the college level and so I'm just that's just a little aside for you it's no big deal but take it out um, so that um, if you wanted to use this as a portfolio piece that would make it more appropriate so instead of saying all children are native English speakers you can just substitute that with all children um, speak English as their first and only language unless you know there are kids in the room who are multilingual and you may that may be something interesting for you to find out especially if they're counting they may want to practice counting and um, matching and you know you're doing something with colors it looks like so it would be interesting if they speak other languages than English if they wanted to identify those colors in other languages um, so that's why that matters <laughs> Um, some of the three-year-olds have less of an understanding. Um, yeah, I mean, that's expected and I don't, I'm going to just talk about the activity a little bit and, but yes, you know, the, the younger kids and the older kids playing together, you know, and helping each other, that's fine. Um, just one note is that the age may or may not have anything to do with that. I've had three-year-olds who can identify and sort things um, and um, five-year-olds who cannot. So I would say I would say that um, you you could even take all of that out. Um, you could just say that there are varying levels of ability to identify and classify colors. Um, so, one of the things that I'll be looking for in this lesson is if you're sorting the colors, the items by color, are you also having them name the colors? Um, because those would be two separate things. So um, you could do your literacy activity for something like this could be the naming part and have books about different colors and things like that. Um, and then you could have the sorting be a, a math classification activity. So um, that's interesting that there's a math station. Um, math is kind of woven into all activities in a, in a preschool, but um, if, there, if by math station it's an area where there are specific mathematical thought activities designed to target those, um, that would make sense. Um, so colored counting bears, I know what those are, um, to demonstrate knowledge of colors and how to sort. So when you say knowledge of colors, I'm not sure. Um, children can sort things based on lots of different classification categories. And so if you're wanting them to sort by color, you can just say that they are going to use colored counting bears to sort by color. Um, to be honest with you, I'm, knowledge of colors, I'm not sure what that means. Do you mean they can say the colors and say this is red, this is yellow, or are you wanting them to classify according to color? And by the way, make sure you don't have any children in the room who have any visual issues, color blindness, that kind of thing. So um, that's just something to keep in mind. Not per, maybe not for this particular class, but when you're sorting by color, um, you're limiting it to one specific visual skill and it may or may not be possible for, the, for children to do that. So just keep that in mind. Um, 
given colored bears and sorting sheets. So um, let me scroll down because I think you have. So I would like you to um, eliminate these worksheets that they're not appropriate for a three to five year old classroom. So what you could do instead is have things that are those colors, like maybe you have four or five things that are blue and four or five things that are orange and so on. What I would recommend is that you have all these items of these one, two, three, four, five, six colors. That's, and then allow children to sort them um, and match the colors rather than, I will say these little work, this worksheet would be, uh, this would be challenging for um, children unless they're used to using worksheets, which in a preschool three to five year old classroom, I really hope they are not because they're not appropriate. Um, naming uh, the colors, um, how many of each color. So now you've got them counting. So counting is not classifying. So you just can take this out. Um, don't even use that. It's not the same. It's not the skill you're assessing. You're not assessing whether they can count the number of some things. You're assessing can they sort and classify based on one specific skill, which is to match visually by color. So um, this is a very limited prescriptive assessment that you're making, and you can't bring other skills into it um, to without making a new lesson, which I don't want you to do. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to just say that first before you go on. And um, I would say I'm going to stop there and let you rewrite this so that it's not based on the two worksheets. Um, so just go just go ahead and eliminate the worksheets. The first one because both of them because worksheets really don't should not be in a preschool classroom um, you could use um, that sheet with the colors to just make notes for yourself as an assessment tool to see just to notice what colors the children um, match and how they match them and something i want to caution you about um, when you're doing this kind of very specific right wrong assessment because there is a right match to blue and a right match to yellow <laughs> um, when you're doing that with three to five year olds you're in territory with them that's really not appropriate we really should not be assessing three to five year olds for their visual acuity in terms of matching rather we should be exploring with them what would they, how would they match how would they classify so I'm gonna let go of that I just want to say that so that you get some good instruction from me as your teacher um, but I did want to let you know that so keep that in mind there's a lot of things I've asked you to keep in mind and then if you want to assess for this one specific skill, then um, you're gonna have to make it so that uh, they, they can experience success and that you're not telling them, no, that's wrong. The yellow bear goes with the yellow scarf, if you have a yellow scarf on the table. Um, rather, if a child a young child between the ages of three to five puts a yellow bear on a blue scarf then you can just let that go if you want to you could say oh you put you put the blue bear on the yellow scarf that's that's interesting you could comment about it and see if they explain themselves and that would give you insight into how they're classifying right so I've I would guess a three-year-old would take a blue bear and put it on a yellow scarf and say something about um, the bear and the scarf and make up a story <laughs> rather than identifying colors. So 
And the idea of the older kids helping them get it right is placing the emphasis on getting it right, which is really not appropriate for young children. Young children should be exploring and learning to classify things on their own using their own cognitive preferences. So I'm, I'm just gonna say that um, I, I have some issues with this lesson. Um, I'm gonna let them go, but I want you to make some changes as to how you do this. Um, there, if you wanna help children with sorting and classifying, you can just put a whole box of objects on it on the table and have three boxes and see how would they group them together. What, would they, what boxes would they group them according to color? Would they group them according to shape? Would they group them according to story or something interesting to them? Um, that's really the stage of development we should be looking at. Uh, so, um, I'm, I'm not going to say do the whole thing over, but I do want you to understand some of those things. Um, let me know if you want to talk about it further. I think, I know you're at Sacred Heart and, um, so I met with the other student that's at Sacred Heart. I can, I'm at Sacred Heart, so I'm easily able to, um, sit down and talk with you about all this. But I don't want you to have to do the whole thing over. I just want you to make those changes. So I'm glad you sent it to me, and I hope this all makes sense. If not, let's meet up and talk about it, and, um, and I'll try to be more helpful.